Hello, are you looking to edit all of your BigCommerce products through the CSV or you've been told about the bulk edit through CSV method and you don't know what people are talking about or you just want to watch somebody do it one time to make sure that you understand how to do this? Hey, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner, and I run a group for uh, a, a private group for people that are e-commerce store owners just like you call e-commerce growth. And um, also in this channel each week I post more e-commerce videos. So if this is beneficial to you, uh, subscribe and hit the bell and you can see even more. All right, so bulk edit through CSV. Let me show you how to do this. And I wanna give you guys a pro tip before I actually show you how to do this, which is to think about the change that you want and to make the change on your live store before doing the export so that you can see how the change that you actually want to make with the CSV is going to work. So in this situation, I'm going to just add a custom field real quickly to this test, test shirt product. So I'm going to go and edit this product and I'm going to say create a custom field and I'm going to call it test field and I'm going to give it a test value just like that. All right. Um, click save. So basically we're simulating what, what it would look like to use the bulk CSV method to actually put a custom field on all of your products or to put a custom field called this on all of your products. So now we have it added to one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to products and then export and choose the bulk edit template. Just always, always, always choose the bulk edit template. And the reason for that is when we import it, it's going to easily match up the column structure from what we work on uh, to what we're importing, if that makes sense. So choose bulk edit, choose continue. You have to click this link to start it generating the export. You have to wait a couple seconds or a couple minutes, depending on how many products you have, and then click download my products file. So you can see it just downloaded that. I don't know if it shows up here. I guess it doesn't show up. It's, it's right behind my head. <laughs> right right below my head rather right down here um, in my in my little tray here so what i'm going to do next i use google um, google drive or g suite or whatever they're calling themselves now and so i'm going to just come in here to drive and on the my drive tab i just dragged that file in to import it and you can see it imported it now you don't have to use g suite you can use you know your office 365 or you know whatever whatever you got that's a csv editor spreadsheet program but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click to open it I'm going to open it with Google Sheets and here we are so we have the spreadsheet this is what it looks like once it's translated into an actual spreadsheet from a CSV and so you can see we got all these different columns here product type product ID um, product ID you got to leave here because when you do the re-import, this is how it maps up to the products that are still in there to apply it as a change. So if you delete the values of this, it's going to assume that these are all new products. And you have a bunch of other columns here. Product name, product type should always be P unless it's a digital product. But anyway, you, well, I don't need to get into all of these. What I'm going to look for here is the custom field. Uh, Let's see, custom field, custom field. Looking for the custom field column. I feel like I missed it. Oh, there it is, custom fields, product custom fields. So now, first of all, if you don't have a product with a custom field, I don't think this column shows up. So I don't think this shows up until there's data to put in it. And there are other columns that will also not show up until there's actually a value in there. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, this is just a little thing with, uh, with Google Sheets. I'm gonna say freeze the first row. So that makes the first row that the tabs be sticky. And I also want to, can I freeze the first column? Let's see, freeze one column, yeah. So now, if I scroll over, I can still see the product. Well, that didn't really actually help because I want this one to be frozen. So freeze up to current column. Okay, so now I've frozen all three of these. And the reason is I want to be able to see the product name of what I'm working on. 
So if I scroll all the way to the right to the custom fields and scroll down to the bottom, you can see where the custom field that I put in was applied to the test shirt. And so this is basically the format that we want to follow for all of the other products that we create custom fields for. So what I could do if I wanted to just put this same field on all of them is just drag up and you can see that it's putting test field equals test value on all these. But maybe I want this one to be like the value is red and in this one the value is uh, unicorn <laughs> whatever. You know, I'm just kind of showing you this is how you would apply all of the you know, the same custom field to all of these. And if you want to apply multiple custom fields, I think you separate them with a comma, but, you know, go back to my previous statement and, you know, have applied two custom fields to one product before you do the export. So you can see exactly the format that it should be on here. Um, basically using, using that one manual change before you do your export is really how you're going to get basically the template that you're going to use to apply this data to all the other ones. And I know I'm, I'm kind of digressing here a little bit, but I just kind of want to show you guys a real world scenario and talk about the ramifications of editing through CSV. So I'm obviously just showing you the product custom fields, but you could also come in here and, you know, edit the brand names, right? So you could say maybe these aren't Coleman, but they are, you know, Coleman, 2.0 or something is the brand name. And then I want to change the brand name for all of these Coleman. So I could just drag down. Oops. I guess I don't want to drag down that. I could take those and then drag it down. There we go. Now they're all 2.0s. Um, you can easily edit the product description in here. Although you do want to make it be HTML for that particular field. So you're going to want to make it like have P tags and stuff like that. Um, you could easily edit price, cost, retail price, sale price, all that kind of stuff right through your CSV. So there's a ton of stuff you can do through the CSV. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just showing you guys how to put in custom fields on all of your products all at once. And I'm just going to leave the rest saying test value because this is just an example. So let's pretend that I've made all the changes that I want to make now to the CSV. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to re-download this as a CSV. So I'm going to go to File, Download, CSV. And you can see, well, I guess you can't see because my bottom's clipped off of this, this screen share, but it's it saved it in my Downloads folder. And so I have a new file. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my big commerce store and I'm going to leave the export uh, page and I'm going to go to Product Import. All right, and it says, okay, where's your file? I'm going to drag my file in there. And this is the updated file, the one that we just downloaded, right? And you shouldn't, you shouldn't overwrite the original file that we exported because if you screw something up, you probably want to be able to re-import that original export that we did, if that makes sense. So the export we we tuck initially is basically our backup in case something goes wrong here. All right, so we have chosen that file. We want to choose this option here that says file was exported using the bulk edit template. And that's all we got to do. Hit next. Don't have to do anything here because all of these, all of these mappings occurred because we used the same export to the same bulk edit template to export as import. So it's already figured out what all the columns are, which is why we used a bulk edit in the first place. So I click next and then start import. And you can see that it said there while it was scrolling that uh, all of my products had been exported or I'm sorry, updated. So here it says 46 products were updated successfully. Nothing, there was no failures. If there, if there ever is a failure, you'll get a little link here to the side and it'll let you click to open a modal pop-up that'll show you what uh, some details about the error. So look for errors here. Um, when I first started doing these, I would not pay attention to this spot. And sometimes I would have errors when I did exports and imports and I just wouldn't notice them. And that's definitely something you want to notice because you want to fix the problem and then re-import it. But in this situation, so I've re-imported 46 products successfully. I'm going to go to view one of these products. So let's just view this product, for example. And if I come down here to custom fields, 
look at that it's got a custom field just like that so just to review you make the change that you want to make on one product is my recommendation that's my pro tip so that you can use that as a as a, a benchmark on how to make changes to the csv um, to do what you're trying to do do the export using the bulk edit template make your changes in your excel or your google sheets or whatever you use save it as a csv re-import that again having checked the i used bulk edit and then that should bring everything back in and apply the changes and voila everything's good so if you found this video helpful hit the like button and if you would consider joining my community of store owners links are right up here join ecommercegrowth.com and if you need a developer team for your store reach out to us at epicdesignlabs.com and we'll see if we're a good fit I'm always looking for new ways to um, you know, help you guys out. So if you're struggling with something, leave me a comment. If you just want to say hi, leave me a comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much. I'll see you on the next video.